according to The Hill, MSNBC does not air Morning Joe after Trump assassination attempt. And, and I am going to give you glaring proof as to why the network does not trust Morning Joe. MSNBC did not air its flagship morning talk show, Morning Joe, on Monday following an assassination attempt against former President Trump over the weekend. The long-running news and analyst program was not on the air Monday morning as the network provided live continuous coverage of the aftermath of the shooting in Pennsylvania, which injured Trump and two others and killed one person at a campaign rally Saturday. The assassination attempt on Trump came just days after he is expected to be officially nominated as the Republican candidate for president at the party's convention this week. Quote, given the gravity and complexity of this unfolding story, NBC News, NB NBC News Now and MSNBC have remained in Rolling breaking news coverage since Saturday morning, the network said in a statement Monday. As we continue to cover this story in the week, the networks will continue to cross simulcast, alternating between NBC News, NBC News Now, and MSNBC reports. So there is no news feed covering this developing situation. Get this. CNN reported Monday, citing a person familiar that the decision to not air Morning Joe after the shooting was made to, quote, avoid a scenario in which one of the show's stable and two dozen plus guests might make an inappropriate comment on live television that could be used to assail the program and network as a whole. Close quote. Now, let me show you. Let me show you why they absolutely take Morning Joe, Joe Biden's favorite morning show. Let me show you why they took it off the air. Uh, a lot of questions, not just for Donald Trump. I've got no questions for Donald Trump. He's an insurrectionist. There are no questions. He should be arrested today. He should be sent to jail today for insurrection against the United States of America. But I just I do wonder this morning, why? No trial. He should be arrested today. He should be in jail today. They weren't better prepared for this. Why weren't the Capitol Hill police better prepared for this? Why wasn't the city of Washington, D.C. better prepared for this? Why wasn't the National Guard better prepared for this? Because none of them listened to Donald Trump. He said, it's gonna be a lot of people. It's gonna be a lot of people, too many. We need the National Guard. Who denied him the National Guard? The mayor and Nancy Pelosi, that's who. See, Joe Scarborough has no idea what happened. This unhinged rant. It, by, by the way, completely chock full of falsehoods. Things that never happened. Why weren't law enforcement agencies all across the region better prepared for an invasion? An invasion against the people's house, against the world's greatest deliberative body. And for those of you who have never been up on the Capitol, I spent quite a bit of time there. And even as a member of Congress, I had to have my ID to get in. If I walked across an adjoining street when no cars were on that street, but I didn't have a walk sign, Capitol Hill police would scream at the top of their lungs and tell us all to get back on the sidewalk. When I was walking to a State of the Union address across the street from the Capitol, five Capitol Hill police started screaming at look, look at those people. 
Those are members of Congress with masks cover their entire face and head. Good God. Me telling me I had to clear the area. And yet, yesterday we saw some of these same Capitol Hill police officers, who by the way, I never complained when they were tough. I want them to be tough. I want them, I want them to protect the people's house. Hmm. Yesterday, we see them patting terrorists on the back. We see them taking selfies with people who were committing an insurrection against the United States of America, politely opening the door for terrorists. This is why they took him off the air. They could not risk him going full unhinged and getting the network sued into oblivion. Who had scrawled on the door, murder the media? Who had broken through this glass? Letting them just walk through, letting these Trump supporters walk through freely and politely opening doors to the insurrectionists. And then letting the terrorists walk out of the same capital they had laid siege to and threatened the lives of members of the House and members of the Senate who they said they were coming to get, including Mike Pence. There has to be an investigation. Are there, how many of these Capitol Hill cops are members of Donald Trump's cult? It is how cult. many? It is a cult. So the fireman that lost his life due to the assassination attempt, who knows what Joe Scarborough would say about him? He's a member of a cult. All the people I would imagine that went to the rally, they are, they are members of the cult. As he dug down and covered his wife and children. This is the reason they would not trust Joe Scarborough and his wacky wife. How many allowed this to happen? And I do want to know, where the hell were the DC police? Where the hell was then? How did this happen? This hasn't happened since the war of 1812, when the British stormed Washington, DC. It's obvious this was coming. Yeah. Donald Trump promised this day was coming. He was he and his golf caddy Dan Scavino were putting out videos saying it was going to be wild. January 6th was going to be wild. We were warned that January 6th was going to be a dangerous day, not just in social media, not just in the media, but in our lives. People would come up to me and ask, "What do you think's going to happen on January the 6th?" Well, what happened was the Capitol Hill police weren't ready. The D.C. police weren't ready. The National Guard wasn't ready. Nobody was ready. Or was well, they would have been ready had they actually listened to, well, Donald Trump, the president. Is it okay because they are white? I just have to ask. Oh, my God. Oh, please. Please. Because please. No, I don't no, think no. this would have happened with Black Lives Matters protesters. Let me tell you something. When Black Lives Matter had a planned protest, the National Guard was out in force. So yeah, you're right, Minka. It would have never gotten to this because it would have never happened. This was a way that they could set up Donald Trump to make sure he never runs for the office again. We don't have to even go there. If these Will you look at those people where they have full bags over their heads? 
like plastic bags over their heads. Insurrectionists were black. They would have been shot in the face. And my God, if these insurrectionists were Muslim, they would have been sniped from the top of buildings. That's why they took him off the air. That's the reason. Because you get this unhinged, no facts, just completely emotional rant that has no basis in reality. So I want to know from the Capitol Hill police, what, what, what is it? Is it just white people? Or is it Donald Trump supporters? Why do you scream at people for walking across the street three blocks away from the Capitol? Why are you known as badasses around the Capitol? But then Trump supporters come in and you open the doors for them. You open the doors for them and let them breach the people's house. What is wrong with you? I also want to know, are we a nation of laws? Are we a nation of one man? Donald J. Trump called for the insurrection against the United States of America. Nope. No, he didn't. He said, peacefully protest. Go home, peacefully protest. That's what was actually said. There's a reason why there are certain stories why I won't cover because everybody wants to be first. They want to be first. I don't want to be first. I want to be right. Like, for instance, there's there's the, with regard to the um, the loser that tried to end Trump's life. Um, there's an issue with whether or not there was a ladder. There are reports that said there wasn't a ladder. Then there's a report that there was a ladder. How we got there, who knows? But I'm just telling you, there are conflicting reports. I, I don't know. I reported that there was a ladder. That I would imagine that there has to be for him to get up there, but I don't know. And I'm telling you point blank, I don't know. That's why I don't like covering something the second it hits the newsreel, because I know it's going to have a bunch of holes in it. That's not true for Morning Joe, Joe Biden's favorite morning show. He just goes off hinged. He said that there were police officers, plural, murdered. That January Sixers were killing police officers. That never happened. Literally, that never happened. And so to avoid bidding, getting sued into oblivion, they took his show off the air. And I think that Joe Scarborough now, somehow he's, he's trying to threaten the network saying, if you do this again, we're gonna look for another network. It's like, dude, they can give, there are a, a gajabillion Joe Scarboroughs people that are suffering from Trump derangement syndrome and will say whatever they're told to say for the almighty dollar. So my guess is the MSNBC said, hey, 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 whoa, 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 do not air that. Uh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, they're, they're, they're gonna ask questions. This, this is a huge story, this is historic. Yeah, I know. That's why, that's, that's the reason we can't air Morning Joe. This is an admission of guilt. They know he's unhinged. He knows that MSNBC and they, you read it. They're, he'll bring on a guest. He brought on a guest that said that we need to go after Trump supporters because we were the real problem. Yeah, of course they took your show off the air, you moron. They don't want to be sued into oblivion. You and your whacked out wife. Would they have done it with Black Lives Matter? I mean, there's not one 
brain cell between the two of them. All right, that's it for now. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe. And if you're following me on Rumble, please press that follow button. And until the next time, God bless.